What up there, anime and manga communities? This is your boy Chitty. Yeah, or Chitty, or whatever. Let's go call me. Today, I'm here to talk about Toriko, chapter 299. Now, before I get started, I just want to go ahead and say something. The reason I didn't post this up Wednesday is because, number one, I didn't know it was out Wednesday. And then the reason I didn't post it up Thursday was because, in all honesty, I wasn't feeling like myself. So I decided the best course of action was to just postpone the video until today. Sorry about the wait, guys. You Toriko guys always have to wait the fucking longest. And I'm going to fix that. I'm going to make sure to like start putting reminders and shit to make sure that you guys don't have to wait the longest because that's bullshit and it's not fair. Now, let's go ahead and get into this chapter of Toriko. Now, this week's chapter of Toriko. It, it, yo, like, these masters, the amount of fucks given are like zero. <laughs> these dudes are scumbags. Like, they're complete selfish pricks, but they're strong, so it works. Basically, the chapter starts off with Kaka, her fucking name, man, Kaka-san, uh, pulling out basically a Mario character like one of the more bad like one of the creatures you fight in mario she pulled that right out and said okay look this thing scares the shit out of everything on the island and it's because at one point this this thing's ancestors caused a mass extinction on the island and it's been literally ingrained in the dna of the, the, these these newcomers to not fuck with this thing and the, and the scariest part about it is that this thing is genetically modified to not even be as strong as the other thing was. That is like the gourmet world like shits on the new world. Like the gourmet world really is a scary fucking place. Like this place is done. This is no game. No game. So Toriko, Sunny, and them, as they're, you know, traveling along, they accidentally mess with the freaking plant, the, what is it, soda, what is it, Todoriko, the Dodoriko, or like some shit like that, it's like, I forget exactly what it's called, but the fucking plant that looks like a Mario thing, so, when they mess with it, it causes all the moisture in their body to come out through tears, sweat, sneezing, mucus, like, they're just, like, fucking dying of dehydration, basically, and luckily enough, Kakasan had antibiotics for this and uh, gave them like a cucumber thing that replenished all the lost moisture in their body. She also mentions how this is a one time gig. Like it can't, the antibiotics can't work more than once because the strain of this, whatever this, the pollen that this thing uses changes every time. So it only works once. So at, once they get back to where the mat, where they, they were fighting the horde of monkeys, they find that these monkeys have fucking committed suicide. They said, fuck this shit, we're out. So the reason they did it was because apparently the, they didn't have orders to attack Toriko in the game, but they were so food deprived that they were like, fuck it, we're hungry, we gotta eat. And apparently what's going on is the masters of each zone created this no hunting bullshit, the no, the, uh, the illegal predation thing that they have going on here. And they did it so that they could eat all the food themselves and become stronger, the selfish pricks. So Toriko, upon hearing this, sees one of the uh, monkey mammal beasts that they fought before with, you know, the one with the look like a cat with like the tail of this for a sword. And Toriko was, held the plant. It was that, you know, could kill them. He's like, so are you that hungry and that, you know, uh, you know, just desperate that you would even face this plant that you're afraid of. And he did. Soriko uses the plant to knock him out and then cures said can't cat creature thing and gives him food to eat and is like, yo, look, I'm gonna fix this shit for you. We ain't leaving it like this. Then what we see from there is the cat just crying in gratitude, which is one of the things I really like about Toriko is how like the characters really are emotionally affected by that sort of shit. But then you see the fucking the, the grand, the master of this continent, fucking massive bastard, with a capture level of, oh, of 1,405, staring down at Toriko like, nigga, you about to get this dick. And Toriko's like, nah, nah, homie, you about to get this nail gun. Cause Toriko is pissed, he's like, I'm about to change the rules. And that's where the chapter ends. Now my predictions, next week, I do not believe Toriko can solo a capture level of 1,405. That's just me. I don't feel like it. So the others are probably gonna help him out with this. Cause they didn't couldn't even solo the fucking clowns they were fighting before. So I'm just saying, we, we, we'll, we'll find out. But either way it goes, this is gonna be an interesting fight from here on in. And I, I really feel like this might be a longer arc because we're gonna have to see Tori. We're probably gonna have to see Toriko and the others fight all the Grand Masters. 
So until then, they'll get to like the top monkey king. Either way it goes, man. Can't wait to see where this goes. I'm always hyped to see a new chapter of fucking Toriko. It's fucking Toriko. Either way it goes, man. I'm gonna go ahead and sign out now. This is your boy Chin. Yeah, Chinia signing out. Please be sure to rate, comment, subscribe, and do other things like Black Room Thrive. And I will catch you on the flip. It has been golden. Peace out, anime and manga communities.